Hey, hey, I hope you're all having a wonderful week. Um, my life is crazy hectic right now. I barely have a moment to sit, um, much less do anything else. Uh, just kind of crazy things going on. But I wanted to do a video um, about something that I actually recently discovered helps me to feel um, a lot better and this was something that like hadn't really occurred to me until recently. And um, I noticed that when I was lifting, specifically lifting heavy, I would get um, kind of lightheaded. And I couldn't figure out what was going on. And then um, I was reading some things and listening to some things and I heard about um, that my issue may be uh, a lack of enough salt. Um, and salt is something that has been demonized throughout, uh, you know, throughout the years um, as having to do, you know, um, increasing cardiovascular issues and things like that when um, it's really, it's more complicated than that. And so one thing that um, I started doing, and this is probably not the, probably not the best way to get my salt, but, um, I started drinking, uh, Gatorade during my workouts and lo and behold, my, uh, the dizziness when I was lifting heavy went away. So I do really think that, um, my salt intake had something to do with it. And if you, if you're someone that, you know, eats well um, and is active, if you don't eat a lot of processed foods, if you're eating a lot of whole foods, um, and even if you salt those foods and you're active, it's probably not, and you're probably still not getting enough salt in your diet and it can make you feel tired. It can make you feel, you know, fatigued. Um, and this was something that I noticed that once I started drinking a little bit more or getting a little bit more salt <clears throat> in my diet, um, my energy level went up. And most importantly, that that kind of lightheaded, dizzy feeling that I would get after I'd lift heavy um, went away. And so that's definitely something to think about if, you know, specifically if you're someone that doesn't eat a whole lot of processed foods um, and you're active, getting that you know, enough salt, enough sodium is really important. Um, and you know, there's different, there's different ways you can do that. You can actually just put like, um, salt in some water and drink that. I, I have done that on occasion and it's kind of disgusting, but I choke it down. Um, you know, and then you can, you know, there are different uh, obviously, uh, sports drinks like Gatorade or Powerade and stuff that have some some salt in them. Probably not enough, truthfully. Um, there are other um, pre-workout drinks and, and um, supplements that you can get that have uh, a good amount of salt in them. Something to really... Uh, something that I actually need to put a little bit more... Uh, uh, research into I I just kind of started drinking the Gatorade that that helped it um, now Gatorade when you get like the regular stuff it's got a lot of sugar in it when you drink the Gatorade zero it's got a lot of um, sucralose in it instead of sugar which also isn't great for your gut so, um, I am going to try to like kind of get away from it a little bit more, look for different avenues of getting the salt intake that I need or the sodium intake that I need. Um, and just being really aware of, um, salting my food, uh, you know, well, <laughs> um, so yeah, it's something that not a lot of people think about or it's something that people try to steer clear from because, you know, it, we've been told that salt is bad for so long um, when it's really, it's an essential mineral that you need for your body to function properly. Your muscles need it. Your heart needs it. Your, um, so it's, it's really an essential thing. And like I said, if you're eating well, if you're eating a lot of whole foods and you don't eat a lot of processed foods, 
because processed foods really have a ton, like too much sodium in them. And you know, and too much sodium is a bad thing, but it also has to, but it's more complicated than just like salt leads to heart disease kind of a thing. You know, it's, it's, um, there's a lot more to it than that. So, you know, if you're relatively healthy, if you're healthy and you're active and you eat a lot of whole foods and you don't eat a lot of processed foods, um, but you're still not, you're still not feeling that great. And you're wondering why one of the reasons could be your salt intake. So just look at that, try, um, try increasing your salt intake and see, see how it makes you feel. And you may notice a huge difference. I certainly did. Um, like I said, I don't get dizzy anymore when I, when I lift heavy which used to happen like pretty much every time I'd work out and I just, it wasn't a great feeling. And, uh, you know, as soon as I started increasing my salt intake, that went away and I feel great when I lift now. So just wanted to pass that little tidbit of information along to anyone who, you know, um, may need it. And I hope that this video helped. I hope that, um, you know, you, it helps you to feel a little bit better. And uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button. Please share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram as well. And I will see you all later. Bye. <laughs>